Shalom. All praise, glory, and honors to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their life on the line to do so. To you, brothers, I want to say Shalom. Uh, back in the spirit with another lesson. Um, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying uh, to an elect member or two. I'm going to entitle this lesson. Uh, who do you think you're fooling? Now, um, this lesson or this topic came to mind um, in reading uh, the scriptures, how Yahweh Shai always knew what was in a man's heart, okay, and didn't go off, you know, his outward appearance or the things in which he spoke uh, verbally. You know, he didn't go off of that or uh, took everything as face value, so to speak, like we as mortal men do. All right. And in knowing that, that the Lord knows your heart and he knows uh, everything that you're thinking and everything that motivates you, you know, and so on and so forth. And no, and in knowing that, that should motivate us or keep us um, speaking to myself too personally or keep us on the on the straight and skinny, man, because why it may seem on the outside that we're getting over. Uh, on on men or in the sight of men, the Lord knows what's going on, you know, in the backdrop. So you're not fooling anyone. So it's best to just deal uprightly and in righteousness and follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, you know, while we're yet here um, on in this kingdom, you know, until the Lord comes back uh, to redeem us. Um, because the scriptures also tell you that the eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun. So in knowing that, just because you may be, you know, getting over or, you know, not I wouldn't even say getting over, but just uh, a bullshitting through the spirit. The Lord knows what's going on, man. And and you can't fool the Lord. All right. Because like I said in the, in the beginning, that he know it. He knows um, every man's heart. You know what? Well, not as I say, as the scriptures say, uh, the Lord knows uh, every man's heart. While we as men, we may look on, you know, the outer, which we can only do, you know, unless a, 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 a man just totally off in the spirit of where it's just <laughs> very visible and noticeable, you know, you wouldn't know, you know, that's up to the Lord to determine, you know, what's in a man's heart and what's his motives and what makes him tick. Okay. Um so the first precept I want to grab um, is First Timothy uh, chapter 16 and verse 7. It says, um, But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. All right. So, like I was saying, man, and knowing that, you know, uh, what you do spiritually um, and also carnally, man, the Lord sees it. Don't think you're uh, throwing a rock and hiding your hand, so to speak, you know, or that you uh, that you got one up on the Lord, man. It's not happening. OK, the Lord, the Lord knows it all, man. All right. So a hey, deal up rightly in the spirit, man, you know, be brotherly. Uh, do what's required of you in the spirit. Keep pushing, you know. And if you're getting low on in, in certain spiritual uh, departments, Amen. Pray, you know. Pray to the Lord to strengthen you, you know. Me as well, you know. This lesson hit home for me too. You know, I was reading like, damn man, you know, get your shit together, cause the Lord sees what's going on, man. All right. Um. Second precept is um. Uh, lesson not gonna be too long you know i'm gonna hit the points and um you know get in get out so to speak um 28 first chronicles 28 and um verse 9 a hey, and and look at the situation with yahweh shy and uh judas iscariot and he knew that judas iscariot was gonna betray him from the beginning you know even though he may have seen like you know one of the the loyal disciples you know, but the Lord already knew, man, the whole time. All right. He wasn't fooling uh, the Lord. He may have been fool fooling the other 11, 
But Yahweh Shah already knew, man. He seen straight through it. You know, he and he told him, "Hey, man, straight up, one of you are going, one of you uh, are gonna betray me." And hey, what happened? Judas Iscariot, man. You know, sold sold the Lord out. Um, this is First Chronicles twenty eight. In verse 9, it says, And thou, Solomon, my son, knowest thou that the Most High of thy father, so like the power of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind, for the Lord searcheth all hearts. And hey, and that's another thing too, man. The scriptures tell you that uh, they may profess uh, to know the Lord with their lips, you know, but their hearts are far are far from them roughly paraphrasing and you see that on the day-to-day -day, man you know take uh the christians for example they're blessed and highly favored you know the lord uh is dealing with them they're saved and sanctified you know outwardly that's what they profess to love the lord you know with their lips but what are they doing to show the lord that they love them absolutely nothing because their hearts are in a different place man it's all about fun and games and and putting on your Sunday's best with those guys, you know. You have some like that uh, within the know, uh, uh, in the circumcision as well, man. They're just partying and bullshitting and outwardly uh, acting as if they love the Lord and, you know, that they're about their father's business. But in the backdrop, it's just all smoke and mirrors, man. The hearts are totally all the way far from the Lord, man. All right. Uh, 1 Corinthians 28 and 9 again. It says, And thou, Solomon, my son, know thou, know thou the power of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. And that's another thing, hey, man. You have to do this thing willingly because the Lord knows if you're not doing it willing, willingly. It tells you, um, I believe that's First or Second Peter's, um, to be the overseer of the Lord's flock or his sheep, you know, not with constraint, but of a willing heart, you know. Uh, continuing on, it says, For the Lord search of all hearts and understand of all the imaginations of the thoughts. <laughs> if thou seek him, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever, you know. Amen. That's a powerful scripture right there, man. And knowing that, I'm going to reread it. First, First Chronicles 28 and 9. And thou, Solomon, my son, knowest thou the power of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord search of all hearts and understand of all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever, man. And that's the thing, man. You don't want to be cast off from the Lord forever. You know, being in that uh, uh, lukewarm spirit so the Lord will spew you out of his mouth. You know, nobody wants that to happen, man. Well, if you're in your right mind, you don't want it to happen. So, hey, man, do what's right. You know, in the sight of men and ultimately in the sight of the Lord because you're not fooling him. Okay. This is Matthew chapter 9 and verse 4. It says, And Yahweh shy knowing their thoughts said, Therefore think ye evil in your hearts, for whether, for whether it is easier to say, Thou sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and walk, but that they may know that the Son of Man have power of the earth to forgive sins. Then saith he to the sick of the paisley, Arise, take up, thy bed and go into thy house and he arose and departed in his house all right so you know if you read a little bit up i'm gonna read it from the top matter of fact and it goes into the lord knowing you know the, the evil that was in in the hearts before he even uh healed the sick man uh matthew 9 and 1 and he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city and behold, they brought to him a man sick of Paisley, lying on a bed of palsy, so like, like several palsy, I believe that is, um, of palsy lying on a bed. And Yahweh Shai, seeing 
their faith said unto the sick of the um saying to the sick of the palsy son be of good cheer thy sins be forgiven thee and behold certain of the scribes said within themselves this man is blasphemy blasphemous so the lord knew that they looked at him you know those scribes said to themselves in their hearts a hey, he's a blasphemer talking about yahweh shai okay so verse 4 and yahweh shai knowing their thoughts said wherefore think ye evil in your hearts asking them like hey man why, why would you you know say that why would you call me a, a blasphemer a blasphemer you know because he knew what they were thinking they didn't say it you know um openly but the Lord knew their thoughts, man. Okay? He knew their hearts. Their la'ab. Uh, one more a precept, and I'm going to close out on this one. And this is the passage that I was actually reading, you know, when it sparked this lesson. Um, John 2, and uh, we'll start at verse 23 and read read on down. Um, now, when he, now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, Many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he which he did. So these certain people seem even seen miracles, man, but still doubted the Lord in their hearts. All right. Verse 24, but Yahweh did not commit himself unto them. And why not? Because he know he knows man. He know how man thinks. OK, even outwardly, they may, you know, be on the ship or be behind you. You know, cheering you on or rooting for you, so to speak. But in their hearts, man, they hating, right? And they got all kind of spirits on them, and the Lord knows that. It says, but Yahweh did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. Verse 25, and needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in a man. What would, so like it, I'm going to reread that verse 25, and indeed, so like and needing not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. Okay. So amen. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying and also exhorting. All right. Um, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashimi, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachakodash, Shalom.